Russian WordPress community. I've been contributing in various ways to WordPress uh, for 10 years, uh, mostly to Polygot support and meta teams. And today I'm going to be talking about um, uh, the WordPress.org site and the various uh, components and sections it consists of. Uh, it, it's supported by the meta team, which is uh, responsible for building all of the official WordPress.org websites. Uh, it has a bug tracker uh, at meta-track-wordpress.org, where you can contribute to any WordPress site. Uh, there's a bunch of software uh, in use on WordPress.org. Mainly it's, uh, of course, WordPress, uh, BBPress, uh, which is the forum software for WordPress, BodyPress, a social network uh, that's used to display your WordPress.org profiles, a bunch of custom plugins and themes. There's a track uh, for bug tracking. There's a Russian control system, uh, mail script for managing mail and lists, and there's also media wiki for codex. Uh, WordPress.org uh, contains a lot of different sections like uh, plugin and theme directories, uh, various APIs, uh, Codex, developer reference, uh, some networks for contributors or for uh, polyglots, uh, localized versions. Uh, I'll talk um, some more about each one of those components. Uh, so the first uh, uh, site is API WordPress.org. It contains uh, some APIs that WordPress or its sister projects use. Uh, the Browse Happy is a service that helps users make sure that they're using the latest and secure WordPress uh, version of the browser. It was created when a lot of users were still on Internet Explorer 6, which didn't quite fit for modern websites. WordPress uses this API to display a notice in the admin that recommends uh, the user to upgrade uh, to a secure version. Uh, credits. Um, also, the something similar is currently being done for uh, for PHP versions. There's a project called Surf Happy, uh, which now also has its own API uh, that would help uh, users uh, to make sure they run uh, currently supported and secure a PHP version. Uh, credits is a service uh, that shows WordPress contributors for the latest release in the on the about page in the admin. If you want to see uh, your name there, you can contribute to WordPress core. Uh, importers is a list of plugins for import importing content from other web, web platforms like Tumblr, uh, or Blogger. Uh, it's, uh, it is used if you go to what tools import page in the admin which downloads uh, the list of plugins from the a from this API. Uh, I think everyone has seen the WordPress news widget in the admin. Uh, it displays uh, the latest news uh, from the official WordPress blog and some other websites uh, called WordPress Planet. Uh, starting with WordPress 4.8, uh, this widget is called WordPress events and news. It now also shows information about the upcoming uh, meetups and WordCamps in the region. And translations is an API that WordPress uses to download language packs for core uh, plugins and themes. And the next uh, site is apps.wordpress.org. Uh, it is a website where you can download official WordPress mobile applications. There's also a desktop application for WordPress. It supports not just WordPress.com, but self-hosted sites as well, if you have Jetpack plugin installed. Uh, BBPress is a sister project of WordPress. It's a forums plugin written specifically for WordPress support forums, but it could be used in other projects as well. I know someone might say that it's missing some features like that other forums have bundled, like reputation, voting, and so on, but it does have all the essential functionality for maintaining and uh, moderating the forums. And being a WordPress plugin, it's really flexible, so you can you could extend it with other plugins or write your own. And there's plenty of hooks available. Uh, the next site is browsehappy.com. 
it displays current versions of all major browsers. Uh, the notices and warnings in the admin uh, when you're using an outdated or insecure browser uh, link to this uh, website. WordPress is another sister project of WordPress. It's a social network plugin. Uh, it's not Facebook, but you can install it um, on your own website and customize it as, uh, it as needed and extend it with other plugins. Everyone knows Codex. Uh, it's built on MediaWiki platform. It's no longer actively updated, but uh, mm, there will be a replacement on developer reference. Uh, it's no longer updated because uh, the format with where the documentation for developers and users is mixed. It's not it's not really optimal. Uh, it's going to be replaced uh, with separate handbooks for users and uh, for developers. Uh, the developer reference at the next uh, website. It has handbook for plugin and team developers, documentation on Perse code, a list of all functions, classes, uh, filters, and actions in WordPress core. It's not written manually, but passed directly, directly from WordPress core, which allows it to stay relevant uh, with each WordPress re release. There's also documentation on more advanced topics like WP CLI or REST API. Uh, the next project is Global uh, WordPress Network, also called Rosetta Network, uh, of localized sites like uh, the German WordPress site or Russian or Italian or any other WordPress locale that exists. Um, before WordPress uh, 4.0, you could download a localized version only from these sites, but now you can just download an English version and select uh, the language there during installation. However, some locales still require some special transliteration or declension rules and include additional PHP files in WP content languages directory. So, uh, these sites uh, contain packages with all these additional files. These sites are also used by translators and local managers to add new translators. There are now, now 170 of uh, these sites. Uh, about one third of them are active, are in inactive, but more than 100 are actively maintained. Uh, the next site is jobs, wordpress.net. Uh, it's a moderated site with various WordPress job postings. It's currently only available in English uh, because uh, the moderator's team uh, cannot be scaled to handle international submissions, but it would be great at some point uh, to have it localized uh, in different languages as well. Because on WordPress support forums, uh, there is a rule that you cannot provide commercial assistance. Uh, so all mm, topics with commercial assistance are sent to this site. But that's not an option for uh, localized forums because there's only English version here. And the next uh, site is the Make WordPress Network. Uh, it's a network of various teams contributing to WordPress, so like core design, polyglots, uh, support, community, and each uh, team that exists. Each team has a blog and a handbook. Uh, they can communicate on the blogs. Uh, there's also a special page that handles WordPress Slack integration. Uh, if you don't have a Slack uh, account yet, you can go to this page and follow the instructions. Uh, profiles of uh, is a website where each user, each WordPress.org user has a profile uh, that shows their current activity and contributions. For plugin and theme authors, it also shows their list of plugins or teams. Uh, for every user, it shows the list of their favorite plugins. Uh, there's also, uh, there are also track contributions like core commits, uh, plugin commits, uh, and track tickets, and support forms, threads. Uh, you can also use um, this um, site to edit your WordPress.org profile. And if you're ever participating in WordPress support forums, 
you'll notice that your WordPress, your forums profile is separated from the WordPress.org profile. Um, but in the long run, there's a plan to combine them and just have one profile for everyone. Uh, track is WordPress core bug tracker. It's a place to follow along with the development of WordPress. You can view uh, recent code changes, submit the bug reports, work on patches, receive notifications for tickets you reported or subscribed to. Uh, BuddyPress and BBPress projects have their own bug trackers, and the meta team also has its own bug tracker for, work, for working on WordPress.org sites. Uh, WordPress.org is gradually getting open sourced uh, so that everyone uh, could contribute to every part of WordPress.org. Uh, translate is a site where you can translate WordPress core themes and plugins, some WordPress.org sites, or anything else there is to translate into your language. WordPress plugins and themes from the directory can only be translated if they are properly prepared for localization. If they are not, uh, if you find a plugin that uh, cannot be translated, you should reach out to the plugin author. Most of the time, they would be happy to fix any internationalization issues in their project. Uh, WordPress or theme, plugin or theme directory itself can also be translated there. WordCamp.org is a network of WordCamp sites. Uh, WordCamps are conferences that focus on everything WordPress. Uh, these are informal community organized events that put together by WordPress users where everyone can participate, share ideas, get to know each other. Each WordCamp uh, website is hosted on this network. There's uh, some custom themes and plugins uh, behind it. Uh, WordPress.org is the main uh, website where you can download WordPress, read the latest news or information about WordPress mission and philosophy. It recently got a redesign, uh, so now it has a new team, completely open source. Uh, WordPress Showcase uh, is a special moderated section of uh, large or not worthy uh, websites using WordPress. Generally, these are sites created for, company, for large companies, educational institutions, or celebrities uh, that use WordPress in a unique way. Uh, next section is uh, the plugin directory. Until last year, it used to work on an old BBPress version. Now it's implemented as a WordPress plugin. Uh, fully open sourced. Uh, you can submit patches or suggest ideas. Uh, it has a single plugin page uh, or layout, so Markdown parser, Chrome, as a different components. Uh, there are things like favorites, ratings, uh, support topics, uh, compatibility, email subscriptions, uh, uh, review process for uh, plugin directory uh, admins and the API that powers uh, plugin updates and installations. Uh, the same applies to the theme directory as well. It was open sourced a bit earlier, a couple of years ago, and is also implemented as a WordPress plugin. There is single temp page, ratings, support topics, uh, stats, and API, and approval process for uh, theme reviewers. Uh, the support forums also used to work on old BBPress, which made it hard to fi fix bugs or introduce new features. Uh, luckily, a year, a year and a half ago, a long-awaited upgrade to BBPress 2 has happened. The code is now open sourced as well, and there are a lot of improvements. Uh, WordPress TV is a site where you can watch any WordCamp talk from all over the world or some educational videos. Uh, WordPress Translation Day website was created in 2016 when the Polygots organized, uh, Polygots team organized the Global WordPress Translation Day. 
uh, contributes us from all over the world, uh, translated WordPress core, plugins and themes. There are a lot of local events. This site is not hosted on the WordPress.org service, but it's still a part of the global community efforts and there's a component for it on MetaTrack. And now I'll tell you a bit about uh, how you can contribute to a component you're interested in. You want to uh, get the Meta Environment project from GitHub. It contains a local development environment based on Vagrant that has all the prerequisites for working on a patch. It has the source code of components and database dumps. Uh, not all components are implemented there yet. For example, support forms are not there, uh, but they should be added eventually. If you don't use Vagrant and have your own uh, development environment, you can still use the database dumps uh, from this project. And a bit more details on the two components that I worked on and I'm most familiar with the support forums and the plugin directory. Uh, from 2013, when the meta repository was created, in two years of working on an out BBPress version, only 34 tickets were closed, and after the forums were open sourced in a year and a half, 10 times as much tickets were closed. So you could say that um, uh, the forums are much more actively developed now. A new theme was created, uh, new capabilities for moderators were added, for example, user notes. Uh, now moderators don't have to guess why someone was blocked or banned. Uh, some user experience improvements were also implemented. For example, the new topic form now has a field, uh, the site I need help with, because many people would otherwise forget to include a link uh, to the site and uh, would never get a reply. And after the plugin directory was open sourced in a year and a half, uh, two times as much tickets were closed as in four years before that. One of the rec recent additions is that plugins can now specify uh, the minimum PHP version they require. Uh, the next step would be for WordPress core to check that value and prevent the plugin from installing it if the PHP version doesn't match to avoid the fatal error. Uh, so how exactly you can contribute to WordPress.org? Uh, you'll want to go to MetaTrack, find the component you're interested in, and s see the list of existing tickets or submit your own. You can look for good force bug tickets that are small and self-contained uh, tasks, uh, easy to get started with. It's also a good idea to subscribe to the MetaBlog and the Contributor Network, uh, the, the Contributor Handbook. Uh, there's information on how to get started uh, there and how the Meta team works and things like that. Uh, so that's all for me. If you have any questions. I think there are all kinds of postings there. It's uh, it's uh, moderated uh, sites. So, uh, I've seen some companies that are looking for uh, long-term contracts or some you know, single projects. Uh, basically, it's just an official place uh, that uh, uh, support volunteers can send people to if they require any kind of commercial assistance because uh, it's uh, uh, it's not allowed on WordPress that on WordPress support forums. Yes. Uh, uh, so the, uh, the, um, the question is uh, why the 
last, uh, WordPress plugin directory still uses Elasticsearch from WordPress.com. Uh, they have, um, I don't, uh, I haven't heard of any plans yet of moving, in, uh, moving it uh, to WordPress.org network. Uh, I think they just have a um, infrastructure set up on WordPress.com. So basically uh, the algorithms are open sourced. Um, it's just uh, that uh, the, the indexing part still runs on uh, WordPress.com, uh, but maybe maybe it will. It's still um, a work in progress because the algorithms are not yet uh, perfect. <laughs> you cannot. Uh, uh, in some cases, you cannot find a plugin even uh, by a direct uh, Slack uh, match. Uh, so there, there are some plans to improve the algorithms, and uh, maybe uh, the Elasticsearch backend will be moved uh, to the Dortork infrastructure as well. Yeah, yeah, I found a ticket for that uh, several years ago about if you uh, translate a plugin title into some other language, like Russian in my example, you can uh, no longer find uh, the plugin in the directory. I think it has improved since then. You can now find a plugin both by its original English name and translated name, but only if you search in the localized uh, directory. Uh, if you search in the English directory, it's the only searches uh, by English name, so there are still things to, <laughs> to improve. Yes, that's the that's the goal. Uh, the support forums are already open sourced. Uh, I think the main um, one of the biggest components that are open are not open sourced yet is profiles and notifications. Uh, for example, uh, some people reported that uh, when they subscribe uh, subscribe to a keyboard. Uh, to a keyboard, they um, get. They also get notifications, uh, not just for that keyword, but for all words that contain this keyword. Like, uh, if you subscribe to UI, you also get notifications for jQuery UI or all sorts of things. Uh, it would be uh, great uh, to open source uh, their profiles component as well, so all this could be fixed. Uh, it's a work in progress. There's, uh, I think uh, they didn't, uh, the plugin reviewers, uh, I also asked them if uh, maybe, if how does one uh, join the plugin reviewers team? They said that uh, still use some, that was uh, two years ago, I think they said that they were using some old systems uh, that cannot scale much, uh, so they were not accepting new people at the moment. Uh, but now uh, the reviewer, uh, reviewer's part is open sourced as well. So the review in uh, WordPress admin. Uh, so I think we're much closer now to accepting uh, 
more people in the plugin review process. Uh, if you want uh, more, if you want a better answer, <laughs> you, you might want to check in with uh, uh, Mika or any other plugin reviewers. But I think we're closer now. Start at one, yes. and the next part will start at two. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're the next part. Yes. 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 Yes.